A controversial tree felling programme continues to fuel protests on the streets of Sheffield. Campaigners say that the Labour run council is cutting down healthy trees, along with those assessed as dying or dangerous, in a bid to improve the city's roads. Last week, the Environment Secretary Michael Gove waded in, accusing Sheffield City Council of environmental vandalism and has said he will do anything to bring it to an end. The council, meanwhile, has accused Mr Gove of making unsubstantiated comments on the project. The BBC's Dino Sophos has this report. People in Sheffield are really angry. Are you proud of your city? They're taken to the streets and they're getting arrested. They're outraged that a private company employed by their council is cutting down thousands of what they say are perfectly healthy trees. The council has signed a contract with the private company Amy to improve the roads in the city and to get rid of trees deemed to be dead, diseased and dangerous, which will then be replaced with saplings. Part of that contract says that almost half of the city's street trees will be felled, although the council disputes this. Although many residents support the felling, there have been ongoing protests. The police have stepped in in large numbers. South Yorkshire Police, I like the Gestapo. Campaigners say they feel intimidated. What are you doing? This woman was arrested on suspicion of causing intentional harm or distress and will have to go to court. Another woman who didn't want us to show her face said her son went to a protest with friends when his school was closed because of the snow and the police stepped in. As he arrived, one of the police officers says, there's a, there's a minor here, call social services. And lo and behold, social services turned up. How does that make you feel? Well, it's exactly how they want to make me feel. Nothing strikes fear into the heart of a parent, like a phone call about social services. South Yorkshire Police say they have a duty of care when children are present and will always contact their parents and council staff to ensure their welfare. They say the policing of protests comes down to an exercise of balancing competing rights and upholding the law. We're asking you to move out of the way, please. Well, I'm, I'm... The campaigners are outraged that the council isn't willing to negotiate. The leader of the council, Julie Dore, hasn't responded to my interview requests, so I decided to track her down. Julie? Hi, BBC News, can we have a word, please? Can we have, can we have one minute to talk to you about trees? I'm sorry, I am far too but ju ju but ju Julie, the people of Sheffield are concerned why there's police on the streets. Oh, that's the police? No, they're saying it's your contract. Julie, can we talk to you? There's real pressure on the council. Some local MPs and the Shadow Environment Secretary have urged them to pause the felling. Amy say they're willing to talk, but altering the contract would result in practical or financial changes. The Environment Secretary has been to Sheffield and has also called on the council to stop what he calls environmental vandalism. He says the government is willing to intervene. We will make sure that we can do anything that is required in order to stop this. Stop the tree felling now and stop trying to justify a mistaken course of action. The Labour-run council says it's disappointed by Mr Gove's unsubstantiated comments. Meanwhile, the campaign to stop the trees coming down continues to grow. And Dino, who you heard there reporting on that uh, report, is with me now. Dino, you've got an update for us on this story. Yeah, we appear to have had a breakthrough. So there's going to be a pause in the felling. We understand that's during the Easter holidays. But what I'm hearing is that during that period, both sides are going to get around the table because clearly what you saw in that report is unsustainable. Both sides are saying, Amy, the Labour Party nationally are furious. They want something to be done about this. So officially... Some tree work will be done, sort of pruning, things like that, but you're not going to see tree felling for the next few weeks at least. OK, so there's a pause, so it's had some impact. I mean, looking at the images of the police on the streets um, with local people over trees yeah. just seems ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it um, just yeah. seems, you know, this is, a, this is obviously something that goes to the very heart of how people feel about mm. it, but that you need police to actually um, sort of protect, if you like. Yeah. I'm, I'm from Sheffield. I lived on one of those roads we were filming on for years. I've never seen anything like it, and the people there have never seen anything like it. The Police and Crime Commissioner is livid, wants a political solution. The contractor, as you heard, 
wants there to be, you know, they're, they're losing money because they're paying for private security to police this. So they need somebody needed to budge, and I think that's what we're seeing now. Right. I mean, amazing to see a picture of Michael Gove yeah. um, uh, in, in the window of a home in Sheffield, uh, Gillian. Do you think that the pressure will be brought to bear? Yes, I do. And I get, you know, obviously he's he's um, done some great things actually in terms of the environment, and I think he's he's getting a new following. So obviously Sheffield's included in that. But uh, it does seem kind of ridiculous. The whole country is covered with tree lined streets that have these problems with roots and trying to keep flat pavements. I mean, this is something that every other council deals with and what on earth's happening there to as you say get police on the streets and to to have it escalated into such a big deal right. and this is something that happens day in day out across the country what about the council I mean itself um, I mean they say Michael Gove's claims are unsubstantiated um, are they in your view well, I don't know about Michael Goh's claims. I think it is right, absolutely right, that they pause the tree felling. Uh, I don't think it is right to, to fell trees that are healthy and that the community want to keep. Now, if Michael Gove is willing to do anything to stop this happening, uh, he needs to uh, help Sheffield Council renegotiate this contract with Amy and put money in to, uh, to be able to improve the, the roads without cutting down these, uh, these trees. Will so money that's, do, that's, that's the well, job will now. Will money the do government. it in the end from the government. That is, that is the question here. And I've asked Michael Gove, and I pressed him in that interview, will mm. you put your money where your mouth is? And he's not given me a response on that. It's going to cost £300 million for Sheffield Council to terminate the contract yeah. early. They're also saying you can do other things, like you, could, you can put sort of a listed building effect on a tree to say you can't cut these trees down as the Environment Secretary. And also he could just say, well, here's a bit of extra cash to, to mm. help you find an, uh, engineering solutions for individual trees. Will he? Let's see. Right, well, we'll get you back on when you hear back from Michael Gove. But that's it for today. Thank you to all of our guests, particularly to you two for being our guests of the day. The One O'Clock News is starting over on BBC One now. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.